Hello, everybody. I can put a mask on my face. Let me try this one real quick. How do I put a mask on my face? Oh, cool. Weird. Cool. All right, so um, I'm going to go over nine things to avoid to stay on track this new year. Um, first things first. Negative self-talk. Stop being mean to yourself. Stop it. You're enough. You're strong. You're capable. You might be all you got. So start giving yourself more compliments. Make this year about no negative self-talk. Sometimes you need care and not criticism. You need to remember that. The more you trash talk and degrade yourself, the harder your year is going to be. Plain and simple. And you're going to have a much harder time reaching your healthy goals. Okay. That was number one. Here's number two. So, next on the scale, okay? Um, goals are great, but the scale can be an enemy to a lot of people. And even a lot of doctors agree. Um, if you're obsessed with the scale and every decimal point to your weight, that thing's got to go. Uh, it's not, it hasn't helped you thus far, and it's probably not going to help you in the next couple of weeks or months uh, on your journey. So, put it in the trash, put it in the attic, whatever you got to do. Um, remember the number on a scale doesn't affect how hard you the work you've been putting in and how much progress you've accumulated always so um, they don't define you don't always go by the scale you can do the field test you can do the mirror test um, if your health status if you're obese and your health status requires you to pay attention to those numbers then of course that's a different circumstance but for everybody else I wouldn't worry about it too much starting out um, number three workouts you hate so squats things like that not everybody likes running and that's cool um, forcing yourself into a workout that you hate doing is not going to encourage you to keep working out. There's always alternatives to things like running and squats um, and all kinds of other cardio exercises and stuff. For instance, if you hate boot camp classes, try P90X or Insanity. If you hate P90X, hit the weights. And if you hate it, it might be your most required workout for growth. If you hate squats the most, it might be for a reason because those things kick your butt the most. And that is what's going to help you break your plateau and grow into the new year. Um, try yoga. If something's not working, try a new, a new gym, try a new trainer, um, a, new, a new workout, a new split, a new approach, anything. Uh, humans need variation, so keep your body guessing. Your homeostasis happens only after a few weeks. Humans adapt really well to whatever we're doing quite quickly, so um, with that being said, keep going until you find something that really clicks for you and, uh, and speaks to you. So number four, um, exercising to fix or change your body part. So working out because you hate your body is the worst thing you can do. Um, working out makes you feel good, and it really celebrates your body. It makes you feel empowered. Um, it sends a rush of feel-good endorphins and dopamine and serotonin through your body. Working out will boost your energy, improve your health, and can change your mood for the better, alongside tons of other benefits. So celebrate your body. Don't try to fix it. You're not broken. Like I said in uh, number two, you need care, not criticism. All right, so let's see. Number five. Kale. Everyone always talks about kale. They see it in magazines. They see it in a, in a Sprouts, Jimbo's. They see tons of it. Um, it's a fad right now. So kale is great for you, but a lot of you hate it. So stop forcing it. You don't need it. If you, if you hate kale, that's not the only vegetable you, can, you have to eat in order to stay on a well-balanced, healthy diet. Um, you don't need kale to be healthy. Um, maybe it's not kale. Maybe it's something else, uh, Greek yogurt or something that you've been forcing yourself under a 